And Simon was a people of heart and was God. Karen was downstairs. I was upstairs. I stayed upstairs with Asa. My partner, who I believe was bisexual, I believe was a family. I believe he was elsewhere in the house having sex with Rex. I believe I had sex with Rex as well. I never went downstairs. Asa told me in words to the effect that Rex brought her from her country and that everything she had, he had given it, gave it to her. She told me that she was lucky with rich. She said she was also afraid of Rex. I don't know if she was treated. I don't think that I ever went downstairs. I went towards the back of the house, asking our governor, where are you? He came out from the back, what seemed like a maroon. I also saw Christmas tree on the main floor, yet it was long past Christmas. I wondered why there was still a Christmas tree up. I believe Arthur and I were there at the Hoyman's home of on or around Valentine's Day. Halloween and other such holidays. I also saw very quick oh, okay. I also saw two large seashells on a shelf in the house. I recall thinking that they were like shells from my country, but I grew up. Country known to me in this way, of course. I asked Asa if she had come from my country. I don't remember what she replied. I had also asked Asa if she wished me to perform sex upon her, but she said no, that she didn't wish that. I thought it was because I was bad. I recall that Rex went outside and started a party in what appeared to be a large battle. I don't know which to leave. I went with him to his car. We left on the back door, I never complained that he lost his belt. Which is, I've lost the story, which is also one of the reasons why I came out here. Because it is my opinion that Mr. Rex collects these belts to intimidate people and to let these police officers and other men feel like he has something on them. So I want my ex-boyfriend to know that we know that he took your belt. And he did it to other men too. He takes your belt. But I'm not afraid of him. He went back to the house to retrieve it. I saw the face of the woman I believe to be Karen up against the window at the house. She looked scared. I had a sense that she was calling for help. I told Arjun about this. The woman I believe to be Karen suddenly ran outside naked <coughs> and ran about by the garage. Arjun had gone back to the back of the house to look for his belt. But he was then back in the car. Arjun told me not to worry about her, that she was okay. They were only playing a game. We left without him. I felt uneasy that he left without the woman. I saw Rex on TV recently, and a picture of Karen Bergara. I recognized her as a woman who I got when I got to Hoyman's home. I was shocked and deeply sorrowful for having left her behind at Hoyman's house. I told John Murray of these things because I needed to speak with him so that Karen, and that you left behind again. Okay.